Customizing your app icons is such a fun way to bring a bit of personality to your home screen. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the different ways in which you can customize your icons using iOS 26. Another fun way that I like to customize my phone is through accessories. And I get all of my favorite accessories from Moft, who are also the kind sponsor of this portion of today's video. This is the Snap Studio gift box from Moft, and it's filled with all the accessories that I need for my new iPhone 17 Pro. The centerpiece of the box is definitely the Movis case. It's made from Moft's vegan leather, and honestly, it just feels really sleek and premium in your hand, especially with the clicky buttons and the covered camera control button. Plus, it has built-in MagSafe, so I can use it with all the other accessories in the box. One of those is the new snap field wallet and this one is really cool it's inspired by origami and can hold up to eight cards some cash and even a sim card and eject tool all in this compact design and the best part it even has a hidden phone stand built in so that you can prop up your phone whenever you need to next is probably my favorite the tripod wallet stand i just love how versatile this is in one fold i can have it in tripod mode perfect for filming or video calls switch it around into vlogging mode and you have the perfect grip for handheld shots especially with the new iphone 17's cameras and of course you can also just use it as a simple stand in the box they also give you the everywhere lanyard which just attaches to the bottom of your case and it just gives you a hands-free way of carrying your phone. It's also fully adjustable with this quick release button, which just allows you to make it longer or shorter depending on how you want to wear it. And finally, we have the Snapduo watch pants, which are designed to perfectly match the rest of the accessories. And they give you four different color combinations all in just one set, which I think is really nice if you like to switch up your style. So that's the Snap Studio gift box from Moft. I really think this is a nice bundle if you just upgrade it to one of the iPhone 17s and you're looking for accessories that all work together seamlessly. So we'll have everything linked in the description for you guys to go check out. And they're also running a really nice deal. If you buy any Snap Movis case plus an add-on accessory, then you will get $10 off so everything will be linked in the description and thank you again so much to moft for sponsoring this portion of today's video with the release of ios 26 we of course have the new redesign with liquid glass and that will have a big effect on how your app icons appear now so for instance we have a few new options when it comes to how you can just customize your default app icons that are just the apps that you download from the app store so i'm gonna hold down on my phone click on the edit option here and go to customize so we have this menu bar here at the bottom that you're probably familiar with and we have default then we have dark mode icons which we've had previously but now we have the option for clear icons which is new with ios 26 so that will make your widgets and your app icons be a bit more transparent they will all have this nice look to them here you can see the apps that are in my dock also so if you find it's dimming your wallpaper you can just make sure to toggle this little sun icon and then it will bring your wallpaper back to its original brightness so yeah that is clear app icons and how you can turn that on with the liquid glass design i also feel like tinted icons do look a bit better so here you can go ahead and choose a color either from this slider it will automatically just choose a color for you based on your wallpaper which is this little icon here i'm pretty sure this one works on the color of your phone or is it the color of your case i'm not quite sure but then you have that and then we of course have the eyedropper tool which allows us to pick up a color from our wallpaper and then we can have that as our tinted icons and you can play around with this slider to adjust how much the opacity is for the color that you have selected and again make sure to toggle the sun icon if you don't want to dim in your wallpaper also you can adjust the size of your icons and that will determine whether they have a label beneath the app so it's using this little icon here so i can tap on that to make it small so then you will see my widgets and my app icons now have labels beneath them or i can make them large and that will hide the labels and just make them a bit larger on my screen but that's the native controls on your phone using the app icons that you just Get from the app store but now i want to show you how you can get actual custom app icons like this that aren't just the app icons that you get from the app store and again this year with liquid glass we have some improvements to the experience using custom app icons but this will definitely be a trial and error whether it will work for your app icons but now as you can see i have my custom app icons these four here and the ones on my dock these are all from my app icon pack that i designed but when i go to edit and customize 
these all have white backgrounds so it's picking up a difference between the actual icon and the background of my app icons and you will see they have a 3d effect to the actual logos so that means that now when i use the native settings for customization of app icons these will also be compatible so when i go to dark mode as you can see even my custom app icons will go into dark mode same goes for clear icons and also tinted icons these are all now supported with custom app icons as well and they will also now change with the phone settings but this doesn't work with all of the app icons like for instance in my pack some of them like the photos app i think the app icon is just a bit too complicated for the system to distinguish the logo from the white background so it just doesn't support it so when you switch between the different modes it's not going to change accordingly so i just chose app icons to add to my home screen that actually works with this feature so yeah this feature isn't perfect but i just wanted to let you guys know that this feature is available for some app icons again your app icons background need to be white and also it needs to get that 3d effect when you add it to your home screen so then you will know it's compatible with this feature so to create your own custom app icons you're gonna find a custom app icon pack that you want to install onto your phone you can either use like for instance my app icon pack it's completely free i will have it linked in the description if you want to check it out or you can find packs on etsy or even the color widgets app which i've mentioned a lot on my channel it's this app right here so for instance if you want to get some icons that work with the ios version then you can maybe get the light background pack from color widgets so i'm gonna choose this pink version you're gonna select save pack and then you can choose which apps icons you want so you don't have to choose all of the apps so you can just click on these three dots click select all so in total there are 147 icons but again if you don't want to install all of those you can just deselect all and manually select which apps you want to download the app icons for so that's what i'm just gonna do just to show you so once you've selected the icons that you want you're gonna click on install 13 icons and you're gonna select save with shortcuts so then you're gonna have to save all of those photos so we chose 13 so it's gonna save 13 photos to my photo library but you're just gonna select save to photos and then when i go to my photo library now here you will see the icons that we just saved so that is step one just finding the app icon pack that you want to use on your phone then we're gonna go into the shortcuts app which is a default app on your phone if you don't have it on your phone maybe you deleted it you can just search shortcuts on the app store but it's this icon right here and we're gonna now create a shortcut for each individual app that we want to customize so to do that we're gonna click on this plus button here and then you're gonna choose open app if the option isn't appearing here for you you can just go ahead and search and then it should appear so choose open app then you're going to click on app and choose which app you want to create a shortcut for so i'm going to go for the camera app for instance then you're going to click on share add to home screen and here you can customize your app icon so you can either use apple's background so here you will see the different color backgrounds and also icons or what we're going to be doing is you're going to choose image you're going to select either choose photo or choose file depending on where your app icon pack is saved so if your app icon pack is saved in the files app you're going to choose file if your app icon pack is just saved to photos then you can choose photo here you can see my app icon pack that i mentioned that i have on my phone so i'm just going to choose the camera icon and you're also just going to want to name it so i'm just going to go here and type in camera and it just gives you a little preview of what it will look like on your wallpaper then you can click on add so now i have the custom app icon on my phone so when i click on that it's going to open up the camera app so i'm just going to quickly go over this again for you so you're going to go into the shortcuts app you're going to create a new shortcut make sure you create a separate app shortcut for each individual app that's why i have so many here in my shortcuts app so you're going to click on the plus button you're going to select the open app option you're going to choose which app you want the shortcut to open so i'm going to choose like amazon for instance you're going to click on the share option add to home screen you're going to give your app shortcut a title so mine's going to say amazon you're going to choose image and then just choose your photo either from your files app or your photo library select the image that you want and it will add it as a custom app icon to your home screen now it's hard to show on camera but i can see that neither of these app icons are going to work with the ios 
native settings because they don't have the 3D effect. So it's not really separating the logo from the background. So now when I switch to like dark mode, as you can see, those will still remain the same even for clear and tinted icons. That might get a slight tint to them, but not in the same way that app icons that are supported with this will get a tint to them, as you can see these ones here. But I do think if you have an app icon pack with a white background, it's worth just trying and seeing which of the app icons work with this feature so that if you want to be able to use dark mode icons with custom app icons, you have that option. Here you can see an example of app icons that I saved from the color widgets app that I made the individual shortcuts for. And these all have that 3D effect to them. So then I can go to customize and change them using the iOS settings. So that's just to show you with a different app icon pack that this can also work. Again, white background, 3D effect to the logos. I wanna end this video off by just covering a few common questions or issues that I find people run in with whenever I post these type of videos. So first off, I'm probably gonna get this question, but if you've installed your custom app icon pack and you go to customize it with the iOS settings, and one of them isn't working. I don't really have a solution for you. I think it might be if a logo is maybe a bit too complicated that it's not picking it up properly because this icon is from the same app icon pack and everything. It's just not switching the way that the others are. Again, it's hard to show on camera, but you'll probably be able to see which ones will support this because you can clearly see these have like a 3D look to them, whereas this one doesn't have that same look to it. So I don't have a solution for you. I don't know why this is, but yeah, I just chose all the app icons on my home screen that kind of worked with this feature. Another common thing that I get asked is after people have created their app shortcuts, they don't know what to do with the original app. So of course, this is the custom camera app. This is the original one. So all you need to do if you want to have this custom app icon replace that one is you just remove the original app icon from your home screen. You don't delete the app, you just click on the minus option and select remove from home screen and then it will be removed from your home screen but you're not going to delete the app. Third party apps like Instagram might give you the option to delete. Again, you're not going to do that otherwise your shortcut isn't going to work. You're just going to select remove from home screen. So it's just hiding that app icon in your app drawer like normal and it's just the custom shortcuts that's now going to be on your home screen. And the last question that I get a lot is say you've created all of your app shortcuts and you started with Libby and you ended with Amazon, but now when you go to open up the Libby app, it's also gonna open up Amazon. That only happens if you didn't create a shortcut for each individual app icon. So you maybe went into the shortcuts app, started creating your app icon, so you changed it to maybe like, let's just go with the Kindle app. You created your shortcut, you're saying open Kindle, you're adding it to your home screen with the custom app icon and everything. So there we have the Kindle app, but now what a lot of people do is they don't create a whole new shortcut they stay here in this open app 39 that's the name of this shortcut and they just change the app choose add to home screen and do that whole thing over again but then whatever the last app is that's in this shortcut is going to be the app that's going to be opened for each shortcut so now if i go ahead and open up this shortcut it's going to open up good notes not the kindle app because that is the last app icon that was created for the shortcut. So bottom line is make sure you've created your shortcut, go out, create a new shortcut, open app for each individual app. You cannot reuse the same shortcut for all of your custom app icons. So those are all the funny ways that you can customize your app icons with iOS 26. I will have the app icon that I mentioned in this video linked in the description box below. If you wanna go get it for yourself, it's completely free. If you have any questions, definitely leave those in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.